Now, as Lara Logan reports, dangerous cartels are emboldened and profiting off the ongoing surge. Take a look. What are you hearing about the cartels on that side? What are you hearing? Still battling. I mean, they're trying to redraw the lines all the time, but the interesting part right now is we're really focusing on a much bigger, much bigger yeah, side. Specific. What's down here as to what the, what the movements, strategic movements are, but specifically here, um, CJ and G have been moving into the area a lot more recently. So there's a lot of new Asian players that people mothers. don't know. Huh? The other thing that they're bringing in is new their own communications. So the way they're marrying up the two that I'm being told is that bringing in their crews, their heavy hitters, and who are have their own internal comps, they're given CDG radios. So when they need help, backup, or to communicate, just like you would see in multiple agencies on the U.S. side, right? Doing their own thing, running their own comps. that are being charged to migrants to come and the violence that's taking place is also playing a part in that movement to the west that we're seeing in del rio and the data shows that the data shows the number of people now crossing there versus what we've seen in the past so what does that tell you about the cartels right now it tells you exactly that what happens in mexico always affects us on the u.s side and that's why you have to monitor those tripwires because as the violence is increasing in tamalipas and as CJNG is moving in and as CDG is operating, affects us. You, it affects all of the movements of narcotics on the Mexico to side to and the movements of people into the United States. Joining us now with more is Fox Nation host and investigative journalist Lara Logan. So, Lara, just looking at that package, these guys have very sophisticated communications technology. They're redrawing the map south of the border and just imposing their will on the Biden administration. And the Biden administration doesn't seem to have any clue what to do. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard the president mention a drug cartel. What's your understanding of the latest developments as you saw it? Well, Jesse, when you talk to law enforcement officers who've worked the border for years, some of them decades, and also to cartel specialists, counterintelligence people, intelligence people, they all say the same thing. What you're seeing is the Biden administration, it's not that they don't know what to do. It's that they've taken action to create this situation. They know perfectly well what all of the people that I talk to know, which is that the cartels are the most violent criminal organizations on earth and extremely powerful and sophisticated. And what they have have feared for a very long time has now come into being, that Mexico really is a narco state. And there is one particular cartel, CJNG, which has become really the um, de facto government in Mexico. The AMLO government is taking its um, orders from this particular cartel more than any of the others, according to these sources that, that we have spoken to, who have worked this issue for many years. And what that really means is that you now have, you know, the most violent, sophisticated, sophisticated, trained organizations, criminal organizations on earth that have really the resources of the Mexican government at their disposal. And the Biden administration has purposefully, intentionally opened the border for them. And they've done nothing to mitigate that, nothing to change those policies, nothing to make it more difficult. In fact, every single thing they do makes it easier and easier and easier. And the biggest question is, why? You have to wonder if it's by design because their actions are just pathetic. And the only way to deal with this, and we know because we've talked about it, you designate those cartels as terrorist organizations like Trump threatened, and that'll get the Mexican government into gear because, as you said, they are corrupt to the core. Thank you very much for that reportage, Lara. Very brave, and we appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks.